Funk Flex, I'm here. All right. Text me 75759. Now listen. Yeah. Kanye West has stepped into the building heavy. Did he step in the building or was he here? That jacket is so tough. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's old school. It's like two, three years. Wow. You know. How you been, man? Man, it's been crazy. It's like we've been working extra hard. Like I, I sat in the studio with Wayne like four months ago. I was li- I, I was listening yeah. earlier. Yeah. And you were beasting. <laughs> oh yeah. He <laughs> sounded so like 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 almost I mean not, not fed up, but like um focused. Yeah. For what you for what you had coming up. Yeah, yeah. Album drops. I don't know the date yet. We we still trying to figure it out. Just a matter of when I finish mixing it and finish the artwork. You don't care because it's gonna move regardless. So it's really whatever date it comes is gonna yeah, come. I'm, I wanted to have it before Labor Day because I wanted people to have it for the weekend for the bar because I, I want people to remember those you know those special times with my album. I wanted to be involved. You want to remember the moment when they cop it? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want my album to be part of they 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 soundtrack to they to they movie. It's out ninety seven Funkless. Now you know. New York, this is the first time Kanye's ever been on my show. Like, I don't, I, I, mean, I missed you a few times, you know yeah. what I mean? And then of late, you know, we hooked up. I, came, I got to come to the studio. It was an accident, actually. Yeah. I, I don't remember who you were working with. Or uh, you were working. And I was there doing something else. And somebody said, hey, Kanye's working down the hall. And uh, you played me a couple things. Now those things that you played me, did they make the album? Yeah, that joint was the glory. I, was, I it was gonna be first, but then the can't tell me nothing joint just surpassed it. Uh huh. Because you know it was so different. You know the glory is is crazy, but it, it's what's expected from me. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to shake people up a little bit. Um, and uh, you know when you came in, I played that joint. I was supposed to give it to you a while ago. Matter of fact, I might have Pat just go and just give it to you right it's now. It's cool though. I got something else though that I can play yeah. later. So I'm I'm, yeah. I'm actually straight. <laughs> Okay. Actually, we got we got something that we're gonna play from Kanye at the end of the countdown when we get into the countdown. Now, look, if you want to talk to Kanye West, you can call him one eight hundred two two three ninety seven ninety seven. You can text him seven five seven five nine. Now, I know I'm gonna check my little notes because you know I got my notes here. I got my notes. Now, was it you went to perform? Uh, it was recently you had on those crazy Jordans. Where did you? Where'd you go when you, was it, uh, ah, Princess Diane's, was it her yeah. 46th birthday? Oh, so you, you peeped the sixes. Yeah, where'd you get those? Man. You can't tell get... me you gotta kill me? Nah. <laughs> you, me? Yo, you know, uh, Don C, who, uh, that's that's my role manager, he's a, he's a, like a, a serious sneaker collector. He's into it. Yeah, like he's been in magazines for his collection and stuff, so he found them online, because I said that was my favorite joint. You and like I, yo, I killed the sixes. It be hurting people feelings. I forgot because <laughs> the sixes in an original colorway. Mm-hmm. That's my rule. Like I'm, you know, it's n- no offense to anybody out there. That's my my thing is I'm only doing original colorways on the Jordans. Okay, that's my little thing. That's right the way there. you want. You yeah. want it the way it was back then. Yeah. So you know, yeah. we speaking of sneakers, you know, we got the international sneaker battle that we have that we um we're doing in Connecticut along with the car show and everything else. So we got tickets to that. If you want to go to the car show, the sneaker battle, King Magazine model search, we can get it popping. All right. You want to talk to Kanye, call him. We're gonna keep it moving. Let's get into some music. And I got some exclusive things to play. We're gonna do what we do. It's high ninety seven. Let's go. Yeah, it's high ninety seven, Funk Flex Top eighty eight. We sponsored by Red Bull, of course. Like I told you, keep listening for your chance to get tickets to the Funk Master Flex car show going down. This Saturday, Hartford, Connecticut. I got tickets. The, the you know the International Sneak Battle, King Magazine, Model Search, all of that. All that's gonna be a go. Kanye West, of course, is here. Now, this is a big moment for me. You know. Let me tell you something, Kanye. I wanna because I wanna be all the way real with you. Hey. Now, I used to see sometimes things from a distance, like you did. Like um, I know I remember you commented once on the BET Awards, and I think you. Like you know, you said either they brought you down there and 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 or things didn't go exactly the way uh, you wanted or and then I, I've seen you comment on other things which used to at first make me think that you were either gassed or arrogant. Right. And then I think I watched an interview with you with a um, air personality in Canada, and he was you. I think you were like there was something you were upset or. It kind of had nothing to do with you, but it was what you felt from the heart, and you wouldn't leave it alone. You was like, well, I just want to know why, 
I think it was a particular word was bleeped out of your music. Yeah, out of gold digger. Yeah. And um, when I saw that, I I was happened to be in Canada the next week, and I kept asking, well, what was the big deal anyway? Why it was being taken out? And they were explaining that over in Canada, like you know, there's the racism is a little stronger <laughs> in Canada and over here in the states. But then I saw how passionate you were about how you felt about that, which made me realize that. It's not so much arrogance. It's when you believe in something, you you don't come off that track. You you stay in what you believe in, and I mean, it seems like sometimes it it gets misunderstood. I'm sure that you've experienced that before. Yeah, all the time. I like the the biggest thing that, you know, the the biggest downfall I had last well not downfall but a uh, uh, mark against me last year was uh, at the European Awards when I came up and, you know, just. I ain't snatched the award. I took the mic and just said, you know, this is, you know. <laughs> this he is, said, I ain't snatched it. This, 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 this ain't, you know, it's really not right because uh, I look at this like the championships are like, I take this game like a sport. And I'm like Jordan shooting free throws all night, just going in way harder. Like I ain't like, you know, smoking weed and going to the club and just getting mad girls to come by the studio. And you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going in, I'm focused. I'm seriously focused on this to deliver the best form of entertainment. And we don't have no championships. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all I'm doing when I do that is I'm just screaming at the ref. Like I told dude, <laughs> you know, I, I said no disrespect. Like, matter of fact, the guy that was up there, he did a video for this a group called Justice out of France, uh -huh. who, who actually liked the group. They got a new video out right now called D-A-N-C-E. Y'all go on YouTube, y'all see it. The video's incredible. This video that I lost to, though, it wasn't incredible. And then, he wasn't and then, feeling it. It ain't even compared it to this guy. And even he'll tell you, he'd be like, yo, you know, it's a big song, but the video wasn't as good. Uh -huh. So, I, you know, I had to kind of... So you should have said cough up that, since you know it ain't, it, it yeah. ain't how cough that up. Yeah. I wanted, yeah, basically, but uh, I was at, when I was at BT uh, two years ago at the war show, they had me up for best hip hop and they had me up against T.I. And this is when T.I. had what you know about that out. Okay. It's like, if I, if I had won, I would have said this award should go to T.I. To kind of set a precedence that you know we as artists we should monetize ourselves. We know it's hot. Like Dixie Chicks knew they song wasn't as hot as crazy. It's like how do you how do you accept that award? Like I knew I, I knew that what you know that Ti was hotter than me. You know what I'm saying? At, uh, when he had the what you know about that ad, like you know, I'm not even that. You know what I'm saying? So I would have loved to be able to express that side to just say you know I'm really just a fan of music and I feel like. This is the best, so that's the best. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't never really seen nobody. I've never seen it happen in a war show. Even sometimes, yeah. sometimes when you hit a winner, you yo, yo, that's trash. And then you, yeah. but you know, the person goes up, they got their list ready, and they keep it moving. Yeah. Well, this I do. I make an award show winning music. Mm -hmm. So this is that. That's my playground. That's that's the field I play on. You know what I'm saying? I make Grammy esque type rap music and stuff like Be that. Clear. I, yeah. You know, so I'm so I'm going in for album. Of, I'm going in for, going in for nothing year. less. Yeah. And then people tell you this in life, just anybody tell you this, you should be happy. How are you gonna define my happiness? And now, at what now, point did, I should did be anyone ever, did you anyone did yeah. anyone ever say that to you? Because you yeah. know, Kanye, when I yeah. first heard the B E T thing, yeah. I only heard, you know, you hear someone's opinion. I never heard you speak on it. It's the first time I've ever heard yeah. you talk about it. And I think that maybe that's what people get from it sometimes is like, okay. Well, yeah, he should be happy. But then, you know, I can hear in your heart how you take the music, like, yeah. in terms of making it, putting it out, promoting it, and, and think through your video. So now I see why you would feel that way yeah. when, you know, something that's not equal in quality. Yeah, that's all I do. I go up against, the, yeah, quality. Like, what impact did it have on people? Like, how many how many ringtones was it? How many times did people <laughs> quote it in a real day, you know, situation? How many times did people say, yo, this song really affected my life in this way or, or roses helped me with my, my grandparents or something like that? It's not, you know, so I, I understand that I get that rap. And also being confident. I, I learned now that you have to say stuff like, I think, at the beginning of your <laughs> sentence to, you know, to not offend people. So if I say... Oh, uh, I, I'm going to try. You can't say I'm going to be so. I'm like, this. yeah. If I say, yo, now I'm I a, practice that all the time, guy. You know, yeah. you know, I'm a. What's the word? Not a. You know, I'm a prick. You know, I like. The, <laughs> you know, I. You know, I, I me. Mean, I talk with comments. I let it be known, but I, I understand being an artist and, and and your peers. And you know, sometimes my 
peers are to the other people in the music business. Yeah. And the people comment on. So I can imagine how it gets tangled up. Yeah, the peers are the people. And I just say, like, okay, right, for me right now, my whole goal is I, I, I'm going to be the number one artist in the world. No matter, you know, what genre it is, I'm going to be the number one artist, not rap artist, not urban artist, the number one artist. And people see that. I'm Hold going up, cause, in. Because it like, seemed like, because, yeah. you know, Kanye, what my specialty is, I feel like you want to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you go today. Like we're gonna do, we're gonna go to number eight song. We sponsored yeah. by Red Bull. Call us one 800 You want to talk to Kanye? Plus, I got tickets to the Funk Masterplex Custom Car and Bike Show. I got tickets to Scream Fest 07. Tickets to see Lil Wayne. Tickets to see everybody. Let's go. Yeah, it's hot 97. Funk Flex Top 8 at 8 Countdown. Kanye West Funk Flex. Now, Kanye, you, uh, you, we talked a little bit earlier, of course, about sometimes being misunderstood. And I, I want to ask your opinion on something. You know, I noticed that sometimes 50 will mention you almost like saying that you are maybe the exact opposite of what he does or where he is in his career. And that, in turn, makes you successful. He says it in so many words sometimes, like, in the media, in the press. Have you ever had a chance to speak to him? Have you met him? Have you ever, like, or if you have ever talked about it? I mean, he doesn't 100% say it disrespectfully. It's more like, yeah. I mean. It's an analysis. No, yeah, yeah, and he's on your, you're on his radar because you're moving units. Yeah. So I, I get that vibe like you're on his radar. So, you, like. You got you to gotta analyze the game. And anybody analyzing the game, I'm going to come up <laughs> somewhere. Be clear. Yeah, if you're looking at TV, you're going to see me. The kid. Yeah, so. um. You know, I, I was in the studio with 50. This is early now. Was your this, project yeah. already out? Your album No, no, out? no. This is just early a couple a couple months ago. Oh, it's this just, is months ago. Yeah. So we, we were working on some joints for his album. And 50 is one of those dudes. So like, now, so, yeah. so meaning whatever he said, what it might have been said, that had nothing to do with like you guys talk, you guys, you know, nah. vibe and everything. So yeah. that's. My, my, my public, Gabe always joking about, man, you such a 50 Cent fan. Like I always making jokes because it's like. I'd be like, oh, I got money is my favorite record, and mm. you know, uh, they always make jokes about that because it seems like because our music is like polar opposites, mm -hmm. or uh, that that I wouldn't like it. You know what I'm saying? That in order to represent what I represent, I can't like 50 music, mm -hmm. but I, I like I like whatever is the hottest music out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm a I'm a fan first, but I, I must say about certain people, you know, true stars. When I say uh, a stronger, you know, bow in the presence of greatness. It's a couple people, Jay Z, Fifty Cent, Eminem, like and, you know, in our genre, that's like really people that walk in a room, and you'd be thinking like, man, that's Fifty Cent. Even regardless if you know whatever I've done, I still be in a room with Jay or be in a room with Family Fifty. Music. Like, wow, that that dude did this record. That dude accomplished this. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite Jay Z record of all time? I mean, first thing popped in my head is where I'm from, but I'm gonna think. Uh, I might be able to think into it a little bit more, but where I'm from is is, is at the top. Yeah. Now, I, yeah. you know, since you've never been on my show, Kanye, I got so much to ask. So I want to go back to something. I remember when yeah. you got hurt, and you you had got hurt, and you talked about it in, in in your first or your second single on on, on that particular album. Yeah. But then there was someone I don't know if it was the person that was with you or the person who had the car accident that was trying to take credit. Almost for like, because it was, it was trying to sue or something because yeah. you had spoken about it and become successful. What whatever happened to that? Well, I, I had hit someone and then I had a lawyer. I, I Cause say, that was ridiculous, but that's my opinion. Yeah. But I just want to know how you yeah. feel about it. I don't. I don't know. If somebody said trade on like a musical level, but I did hit somebody. You know what I'm saying? I had to. I had to pay. You know those all the fees, for but that. like a normal yeah. car accident. You have a yeah, car accident. Yeah, it's a normal, and, yeah. But this person felt that they wanted more, right? Or they wanted people always trying to figure their way in. People, <laughs> people trying to get get a piece of the the glow, the the Bruce Leroy glow, he and it's not for them. They want a piece of the rock. Yeah. yeah. Oh they, my god. They just, want, they just want some of the. They want to bask. So that just went away. It was a done deal. Yeah, it, you know what what happened with that is like I had lawyers that was advising me to say that you know that I had, didn't fall asleep and blah blah blah. You know, and then actually my fiance, uh, uh, who was like my girlfriend at that time, was um, she she's the now, one. Now, when you yeah. say at the time, meaning she's finished now? No, she means she's my she's, fiance she's now. She's good. Oh, okay, yeah. so it's good. Okay, because yeah. I was yeah. gonna let you bash it, but it's cool. If it's okay. right, it's all right. Okay, uh, cool. I, I, I've heard that before, and <laughs> y'all go in. It's crazy. <laughs> 
crazy. So. All, right. All right, I'm sorry. So yeah. back to the story. Back yeah. to, okay, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, um, you know, she gave me the advice to really, you know, because the lawyer was like, man, this is going to ruin your career. They could sue you for everything you got, blah, blah, But really just gave me the advice to, to be honest. You but know? that was always the truth. You were always saying... That yeah. this is what happened. I guess that's what happened with the there insurance. Was a it was brief, real- there was a brief time where I had the lawyers was like, don't say you fell asleep. And I was on it like that. But then I came around and just said, let me just do, let me let me be straight up about everything. That You know, every everything. Let me just be straight up about it and just deal with the consequences because the Afterwards. consequences could be greater later if you don't, you know, face it, you know. I actually, it turned out in your favor, so it wasn't such a bad thing telling the truth because, you know, you told the truth all the way around, sold a couple of records. Why not? Yeah, win-win. <laughs> it's yeah. I 97 Funk Flex Kanye West You want to talk to him Call him 1-800-223-9797 Let's go into the number Hmm Number five song Same girl R. Kelly featuring Usher It's Hot 97 Let's Riding Dirty Yeah Yeah You know what it is Hot 97 Of course Hot 97 Top 88 on the way We're getting ready to count them down Alright My man Kanye West Is in the building Yeah Of course Now tonight now, uh, shout to now the Pepsi DJ division. They have the semifinals. I said SOBs, correct? I think that's ho- that's uh, enough's going to be there. And you are a judge. Yeah. Swiss Beats, Just Split, man. It's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's a lot of records being sold. A lot of producers in the building. Shout to um, enough. So now, so to explain to me a little bit about this the Pepsi thing that's going on tonight. Like, now, this is DJs from all over the country. Yeah, from what enough told me about, it, I mean, I'm I'm a little vague on it. Like enough called me, so whatever enough asked me to do, I'll be let's there for get it. Cracking. Yeah, so okay. I mean, I, and being a judge, that's the worst thing for me because you know I I give my honest opinion. I don't want to like I don't <laughs> got to, feel though. away. It wouldn't be you if you didn't. Yeah. You got to. So I'm trying to I'm trying to I don't want people to feel away. You know what I'm saying? I uh, I'm trying to keep positive energy. I mean, since we have Kanye, maybe I should ask him like, maybe I should like pick like some rappers and some artists and just have. No, you know what? We're not gonna do that. Not today. We're not gonna do that. Cause then he might be too honest. Then we we go someplace else. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> now they go. They go get. I mean, if you. I'm made, leaving alone. No, I'm, I'm, we're not even gonna. Nah, you know what? Yeah. We'll do some classic artists. Okay. Yeah, we'll keep it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be real easy. Okay, so it's Hot 97, Funk Flex, Kanye West, so that, that's happening tonight. That should be interesting, man. Shout to Pepsi. Shout to um, shout to Mountain Dew. I know they're doing a lot of inter- interesting things. Shout to them. All right, text me, 75759. I'm going to let you talk to Kanye. He's here. He's going to ride out with me in the top 88. I'm going to ask him all the things you want to know, everything you ever want to know. Hot 97.